hills or mountains, running or swimming. All these activities would have been done by you. What do you feel when you indulge in all these activities? We can probably live without food, water or sleep for some time. But can we live without breathing? Respiration or breathing is an important process. It is necessary for our survival. In this video, you will learn about the process of breathing. Let us take you to a village in the mountainous regions of Himachal Pradesh, where Suman and Munna live. Didi, you know, today when I went to Ramu Chacha's office, I saw some travellers there and they looked very worried. Why? What happened? Didi, you know that some travellers had come to our village and they were preparing to climb that small range and Ramu Chacha was organising everything for them. Do you remember? Yes, I remember now. This was three days ago. Didi, looks like one of the boys has fallen ill and they came to seek help from Ramu Chacha. Those people wanted to go back to their city. What do you think would have happened to that boy? It seems that he could not climb the small ranges. <laughs> you are right, Didi. Some people were saying that he was having trouble in breathing. Do you know, Munna, climbing the mountain or smaller ranges is not that easy. It takes a lot of hard work. Yes, Didi, the mountains are so high. You have rightly said, it is difficult to breathe there. Oxygen content decreases with height. It means that we get breathless while climbing mountains or high altitudes. Yes, you are right. Didi, when I run, walk fast or dance, I still gasp for breath. Children, we cannot live without breathing. Can you all tell how we breathe when we swim? Munna, come here. You have already read that all organisms are made up of very small units, which we call cells. Hey Munna! I am a cell. You know that I live in a human body and there are billions of such cells in the human body. You know all about me, isn't it? I play a role in all tasks like nutrition, transport, reproduction, etc. Didi, yes, I did read about cells. For the cells to function for conducting functions, like nutrition, reproduction, etc., energy is required. Where does this energy come from? You tell me, what do you do when you feel tired? I eat food, Didi. After eating food, I feel very energetic. You are right. When we eat food, we get energy. But Didi, how is this possible? What is the relationship between energy and food? Explain this process to me. Hey Munna, when we breathe in, what do we do? This cell has come again. When we breathe in, we are taking oxygen inside because there is oxygen in the air and we release carbon dioxide out of the body. Rightly said, this oxygen travels throughout our body and it reaches me. And here, oxygen breaks food and gives energy to the body. Hmm, I now understand how eating food brings energy to the body. Didi, is there any organism that breaks food without oxygen? Yes, yeast is an organism 
that can survive even in the absence of air and breaks food. This process is called anaerobic respiration. But this process leads to alcohol formation. Didi, I am getting a little tired. I feel my body needs energy. Let me eat something. <laughs> Let's go. Children, when people run, swim or do some other work, they feel tired. But they also feel hungry. Why does this happen? Munna, do you know that breathing rate varies under different circumstances? When we rest, the breathing rate is different. When walking, this rate is different. And when we run, this rate is higher. When I run, I feel very hungry. <laughs> there is a reason for this as well. When we run, then the breath increases and we need more oxygen. When more oxygen is used, food is divided more and more energy is used. I see. That is why we feel more hungry. Didi, thanks for explaining all this. Children, we have seen how oxygen breaks food and how it gives energy to human body. In the next video, we will see how we breathe. See you. Thank you. Respiration in Living Organisms Part 3 The objective of this video is 1. To understand respiration in animals 2. To understand about respiration in water. Children, you saw in the previous video how humans breathe and how the nasal cavity, lungs, diaphragm, etc. help in breathing and respiration. Like humans, other animals also breathe to survive. The main objective of this video to understand the respiratory process of various animals. Let us go to a village in Madhya Pradesh where Deepak and Ramesh live. Deepak! Deepak! Help me clean the house. I have to make preparations for Diwali too. Mother, there are 15 more days for Diwali. I will be playing for a while. Then I'll help you. Go after some time. We all have to work together. Mother, okay. Tell me what to do. Look here. How many cockroaches are there in this room? They are moving around here and there. Oh, look here. There are two to three in this flower box too. Mother, it surprises me as to how they are alive in this dough. If anything goes in my nose, I will be very suffocated. I wonder how they are breathing and how they are alive. These cockroaches are attracted towards food and moisture. Cockroaches are therefore found mostly in kitchens and bathrooms. Let's do the cleaning. Hmm, mother look here. I have cleaned up the place here. Deepak! Deepak, let's go to play. Hey Ramesh, you have a fish rod. Come on, let's go fishing. There are very few fish in the lake, but we will try. Ramesh, it's been a long time. We could not catch even a single fish. Now I'm feeling hungry. Hey, wait. I think I have caught a fish. Yes, got it. It is gasping. Leave it back in the water. Otherwise, the fish will die. Hmm. After a long time, a fish was caught in this hook. And you are asking me to release it in water? Okay. I will let it go back to the water. 
Today, when I was cleaning the house and helping my mother, some cockroaches came out. I noticed that they were also alive in a place with less air. And now see how these fish are suffering as soon as they come out of the water. Let's go home and find out why this happens. Mother, do you remember that the cockroaches were roaming around on the floor? Ramesh and me will read in this book how cockroaches breathe and we shall find out if animals like cockroaches, frogs etc. have lungs like us. Deepak, look here. It is also written about fish. Children, can you tell why whales and dolphins often come up on the water surface? Sometimes, why do they leave a fountain of water while moving upwards? Ramesh, look here. Here we will read how animals like cockroaches, fish etc. breathe. Hmm, these are all such small creatures. I don't think cockroaches and fish have lungs. I know that animals like elephant, lion, cow, goat etc. have lungs. Look here, everything is written about cockroaches. Let's read what is written. Look here, something has also been written about earthworms, frogs and fish. Look, like all other insects, there are holes next to the cockroaches called spirals. Out of these spirals, oxygen enters and carbon dioxide comes out. And the air from these holes goes through the tracheal tubes all over the body. These humans don't know much about me. You know, I can live without breathing for up to 45 minutes. I can also survive radiation and extreme cold. My body seems very wet and slimy because I breathe through the skin. I live on land and in water. When I live on the ground, I breathe through the lungs. And when I live in water, I breathe through the skin. Wow! What wonderful creatures these are and how they all have adapted themselves to survive. But fish can only live in water. If we take them out of the water, they die. Yes, but these fish have gills. We humans cannot stay in water much longer because we cannot breathe in water. Cockroaches can live in water for a long time. These gills act like the lungs for fish, isn't it? They help the fish to breathe. Yes, look here. Gills of the fish help in using oxygen dissolved in water. And look at this picture. Gills are on each side of the head. The fish takes oxygen rich water and its mouth and pumps it to its gills. When the water passes through the gills, the blood vessels inside it absorb oxygen. The smallest insect or the biggest animal all must respire to survive, whether they respire with lungs, skin or gills. Yes, you are right. Go home now. It has got late. See you tomorrow. Children, you have learnt about the respiration of other animals in this video and about the respiration in water. In the next video, you will learn about plant respiration. See you later. Hello friends, how are all of you? You know about the respiratory system in animals and human beings. Do plants also breathe like the other living organisms? 
In Chapter 1, Nutrition in Plants, you have learnt about photosynthesis. Green plants make their own food in the presence of sunlight. They take in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen. This is known as photosynthesis. Let us find out the process of respiration in plants. The objective of this video is 1. To understand the process of respiration in plants and trees. 2. To understand that leaves and roots of plants respire separately. Can we sleep under the tree tonight? Rani, Dadaji tell us that's not to sleep under a tree during the night. Why is it so, Didi? Is it because there will be a lot of mosquitoes? No, silly. All right, tell me. Which important function do the trees carry out in the presence of sunlight? Photosynthesis. Correct answer. What is photosynthesis? Plants prepare their own food in the presence of sunlight. They take in carbon dioxide and release oxygen. Yes, but the sun is not there during the night. So, plants do not perform photosynthesis, but they breathe. Yes, Didi. Trees and plants do not perform photosynthesis at night. That is why the amount of carbon dioxide increases in the atmosphere and if we sleep under the tree then we could breathe in more carbon dioxide. Didi, but these plants do not have a nose. Where do they breathe from? Come here, let me pull your nose. Which part of the plant does photosynthesis? Green leaves have chlorophyll and there are small openings on leaves known as tomata. This is the center for exchange of gases on the leaf. Yes, correct. So plants and trees breathe through the help of stomata. When we breathe our chest goes up and down due to regular breathing but we cannot see any such things in plants. Then how can we say that they breathe? Come Rani, let us do an experiment. What kind of an experiment? Let us do this experiment and in the end you tell me what you observed. You go and pluck two fresh leaves from a tree. Till then I shall fill a glass bowl with lukewarm water. Now immerse these leaves in the water. Now let us keep this bowl in the sunlight and wait for a few hours. What is going to happen Didi? I am getting very excited. Wait for some time. After a few hours. It is almost two hours now. Let us go outside and check. Come. Now observe carefully and tell me what you see. Didi, I see a few air bubbles here. Yes, this means that the plants also breathe. These air bubbles are of oxygen. The leaves take in carbon dioxide from the air and release oxygen. This is like magic. We are able to observe through this experiment what we are not able to observe otherwise. Plants also respire. Friends, you should also try this experiment. So is it that like our lungs are the most important part of our respiratory system, the leaves are the plants? Rani, in plants the leaves, stems, flowers and even the roots help in breathing. Roots? How can they help? They are deep in the ground where there is no air. 
Rani, Ruth's taken the air that is trapped between the soil. Oh, is it another magic? Do you remember a few days back father had planted a few flowering plants? Yes, Didi, I remember. One of those plants had died. I had given it a lot of water. Yes, but do you know why? Go and get a mug full of water from inside. Now put this water in the soil. Didi, the soil is wet now. Yes, Rani. Look, if we add a lot of water in the soil, it becomes wet. The air pockets in the soil get filled with water and therefore the roots cannot take in any air. Oh, and because they cannot breathe, they slowly die. Yes, Rani. Now I will be very careful when I water the plants. So friends, plants also breathe like us. They are so important for our existence. We should try and plant many trees. Friends, will you begin with a tree plantation drive in your area?